So I created some courses some time ago as well as some of my students and a lot of people were wondering what kind of patterns I use to be able to create them and make them cup neatly without pointing. So in today's video, I'm going to show you just how I was able to achieve that. Welcome to my channel. My name is Iberichi Igwe Obunna and on today's video, I'm going to teach you how to make a cup cut set. So the first thing you get to do when you want to create a cupped corset is that you're going to mark out your horizontal lines. I'm going to use the upper edge of the pattern paper as my neckline. That's like my startup line. I'm going to use that as my neckline. Then I'll come down by one inch. And that one inch below the neckline is going to serve as my shoulder line. So after that, I'm going to mark my chest line at seven inches. Then my armhole line. I get my armhole line by marking high waist position divided by two so i mark my armhole line bust position under bust position high waist position so i'll just mark it on one side and then mark it on the other side so by now you must have already taken your basic bodice measurements and it's just basic very basic bodice measurements the only difference is that you also get to include the under bust to over bust measurements just so that your cup will be able to cover your breasts very well without having to uh, display a lot of boobs so now you connect your lines you've marked your neckline your shoulder line your chest line armhole line bust under bust high waist position full length and then a half inch hem allowance that's our hem line now so the next thing we're going to do is that we're going to move over to the back piece and we're also going to repeat the same lines however for this particular pattern i use for my corsets i do not use the same high waist i use in front as the back i only increase i always reduce the high waist position of the back by only two inches like no matter how busty the person is so i'm just going to go ahead and mark up all other lines in front i use 17 inches at the back i'm going to use 15 inches as the high waist position of the back the reason is because of the that i'll do eventually later on in front so i just don't want them to be equal at the moment so that is also going to affect the full length of the blouse and is also going to affect the hemline of the blouse so what it simply means is that the back is going to be two inches shorter than the front pattern so we proceed to connect the lines together so if you're watching this video on youtube this is like an expo video and i'm going to take it down or make it a private video at any time so just pay very close attention ask your questions i'm going to respond in the comment section okay so this is neck width i just marked the neck width of 2.5 inches then the shoulder of half of the shoulder measurements which is seven inches so as of this stage before you even think about making a corset you should already have mastered the beginner's phase of dressmaking so after marking the shoulder after the intersection of the shoulder i didn't just go ahead to I didn't just go ahead to stop there i had to extend it by about 12 centimeters so i added an extra 12 centimeters from the point where the shoulder divided by two measurements stopped so i had to label it like so a and b so measuring the distance between a and b i found the midpoint so incidentally the midpoint rhymed with the point where the shoulder hit the neck um where the shoulder measurements hit the shoulder line so now i had to mark the nipple to nipple divided by two i mark it all over so the intersection points of nipple to nipple the nipple and the the nipple divided by two and the bust point the intersection points is called sorry the intersection point of the bust position and the nipple and the dart position is called the nipple so we just went up by one inch sorry 1.5 inches then on the shoulder from that from that midpoint we had to measure 6 cm 6 cm because we want to share that extra 12 centimeters we've added so the extra 12 centimeters was actually added for shoulder darting so we had to just 
mark it shade it off so that you know it's no longer part of the measurement so you measure um shoulder divided by two minus half then you um complete the part taken up by this that so you just measure it and mark so on the armhole line you just mark round balls divided by four and then measure up the extra taking up by the dart as well so when you get to the bust point don't go ahead start measuring the round bust measurement just drag down what you have on the armhole so on the full length line you mark round hip divided by four and add an extra one inch to it and the reason we're adding an extra one inch is that we don't want any form of cinch effect on our hip position so we only we're only interested in cinching the back position in the high waist position sorry so right now we're drafting the back piece and what we're going to do is that we're going to first of all mark out our zip allowance of 1.5 inches we don't really need it per se but we're marking it out because of the kind of neckline we're going to be using for this particular corset so i'll just go ahead and mark a neck width of three inches at the back from the center back line instead of marking a neck width of 2.5 like i did in front i had to increase it by half inch so that um it wouldn't sag the net i would use in front wouldn't sag after sewing so we just on the armhole line you mark your rumbles divided by four on the bust line you mark your rumbles divided by four on the full length and the hem line you're going to mark round hip divided by four plus an extra one inch and now we're done with the basic pattern for the front and the back so this is like our basic that we're going to work with so now that we are done we're going to go ahead start doing what i call waist shaping please follow this path very closely the first step in round um, in waist shaping for corsets is to subtract four or six inches from the original high, round high waist measurement so i subtracted six inches from mine mine was 30 30 minus 6 24 so when we got the 24 we just went ahead to do the high waist shipping please watch my other previous videos on high waist shipping they are slower and more detailed and you would get the whole details of high waist shipping better when you watch those other slower videos so when we are done with this particular phase just remember that you're not going to mark your front darts to be flare to have the flare effect you're going to make them to come down straight so that they can give you a cinched effect so now that you've marked your dart position for your back you mark 2cm to the left 2cm to the right so in front i use a total of six centimeters two cm for the left and then two cm and then four cm for the right so the back is going to have a um a flared effect because of the buttocks you wouldn't want to just drag it down so that it doesn't go ahead and cinch the buttocks so out of the 20.5 centimeters excess we had we've used 10 cm so now we're left with 10.5 centimeters so we go in on the sides by half of we divide 10.5 cm by half by two then go in by half of that amount so that's like 5.25 in front then go in by 5.25 at the back so connect to the bus on the upper part and connect to the full length line on the lower part so we're gradually coming to the end of the basic phase so you just use your marker to know that normally i would have used a pencil but i didn't do that because i wanted you to see this illustration very clearly with a marker so now that we're done with under bus shipping we'll go ahead and do our highway um sorry now we're done with the highway shipping we'll go ahead and do the under bus shipping so the first step is to divide round under bus by two so that's 30 inches divided by two we hold it to the end we jump our darts and pass because our darts is not part of our measurement so we jump the darts and i got practic i practically got 15 so that means i don't have enough excess to do my under bus shipping but corsetry has to do with proper under bust tightening so i'm just going to go ahead and use what i want to use which is 2cm to the left towards the center and 4cm to the right 
towards the side piece so you just go ahead and connect like so and now we are done we're not going to pay for the usage because the back is going to be open eventually and we are going to drag the stuff with the eyelets the loop or whatever it is we want to use so there might just not be any need to in fact there's no need to pay for it it's a corset so you're not paying for any shortages so now we're done with the basic pattern and we're going to proceed with the bust darting so from the bust line we come down by two inches and shade it off so that you can know that it is a dart and you're going to eventually close it up so from the full length line we'll just come up by 1.5 inches and draw in our curve like so so i'm already used to freehand on this particular kind of issue so we'll do the same thing for front and back if you have a french curve you can still use your french curve and do it or most times i don't really mind so we'll just come down by two inches because of the kind of neckline i want to have at the back connect it like so and then we we'll just mark out the illusion line at the back and now we are almost done so we're going to cut up that hollow area eventually so i'll just go in by 1.5 inches because the back is going to be open that's part of the things that make your corset cinch so i'll slant it like this because this is what i want the style line to be like so it's along that line that we're going to be having our eyelets or our loops as the case may be so we're going to have our net on the upper part and we're going to have our fabric on the lower part we can just decide to add another line and that line is going to serve as a style line it's not really for structure per se we might decide to put boning in between the lines or something so i just went ahead to label the pattern 0 0.5 inches all through because it's still a shoulder that's it pattern yes so we're going to cut it in pieces and then we are going to add sewing allowance for sewing of this particular outfit so from the center i had to measure 0 0.5 inches this is my personal formula it's it may not really work for others but it's it's what i use and it's been working for me all through so after measuring 0 0.5 inches at the point where the 0 0.5 inches hits the under bust you're going to make a slant at the 45 degree point so mark 3.5 centimeters 3.5 centimeters so towards the side of the front also what we're trying to get is a perfect cup so but um towards the side of the blouse we're going to measure 1.5 inches but before that we're going to we had to split the dart line so that it would allow us to close up this dart we're going to have to draw a cup that would cross over the side that that's the boss that on the side and we don't want any interference we don't want to after after sewing everything will now become disjointed so we have to close up the dart permanently before ever we draw the cup so i had to mark 1.5 inches from the side drag it down and make it touch the under bust then gradually close up the side that for the front so from this point where it touches the under bust you measure three centimeters three centimeters only you measure three centimeters so you now close the bust that permanently okay so when you close the bust that permanently you can just use a masking tape to close it or use a pin if you don't have access to a masking tape i had to cut up this i had to separate the front from the back so that my pattern will be more flexible 
So after you must have already done this, you can use your French curve to blend your curves or something. Or you can still use your free hand like I do. But if you know you're very comfortable with your free hand, please do not use it. So this is the point where your under bust, your over bust comes in. Your over bust is like that point where you don't have to, you know, start dragging the corset up to cover your breast and all that the point where you're comfortable that your breast will not show when you're wearing a corset so from the top i'm going to measure about 10 inches that's going to be the depth of my illusion that's the depth of my skin tone net so i know that that point would also not show my boobs so i'm just going to connect with the french curve on my beautiful free hand so connect the 3.5 cm points connect to the under boss connect like so connect like so you can see how i connected to the 3 cm point and then to the 1.5 cm point and then because we're going to cross over our shoulder that we are going to close up the shoulder that nicely and easily so close it up and mark it so guys if you're watching this video on youtube and you're new to my channel just click on the like button share and subscribe but if you're watching this as an online course just make sure you practice it's very 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 important and we don't have any such thing as a stupid question please do ask your questions i would always be quick to respond okay so now we've completed our cup we've completed the one for the top and then we've also completed the cup shape on the sides like this method is idiot proof it so works it's it's something that is tested and trusted so because the shoulder is now disjointed we we'll have to remark our shoulder line so how do we do that we do that by extending the old shoulder line so that you can see that there's a shortage on the shoulder on the shoulder divided by two with all this dating and everything so i had to now remark it remark the shoulder divided by two then connect it to the point a and then connect it to the point on the chest line you can use a french cuff or your free hand and when we're done connecting it we're going to use the scissors to cut it off so that's going to be the new shoulder line so you can order my pattern making book advanced pattern mastery for the african woman it's a detailed guide to dress making for the african woman for advanced students like if you've done your basic and all that it's really going to help you okay so i'll just remark the neck depth of the front i'm going to now use a neck depth of three inches and I can alter this part i wouldn't want to have a one inch spacing in between so i'm just going to have like a half inch spacing so i can just alter that center a little bit and connect it and we're almost done with this corset so i'm just going to use my masking tape to permanently close the shoulder that so that place i permanently closed is for the illusion skin tone net or whatever your kit is you want to use there because it won't be nice to start cutting your net in pieces like it's going to look just terrible so now because of the method we're using we're going to have a shortage on the shoulder a shortage of about one inch or 1.5 inches so we're going to pay by adding an extra 1.5 inches to the shoulder that's on the yoke itself so we're not paying by making the back bend over because the back is already shorter than the front so since this is a three-piece cupped corset we'll come from the upper parts of the cup and measure about two inches i'm using two inches because it's for a medium-sized person not really a plus size person it's about for a size 10 so we just came down by two inches marked it and we're going to cut it off anyway you're going to do your cut and join you're going to add 0 0.5 inches to it 0 0.5 inches is going to serve as our sewing allowance so on the side piece you're going to add you're going to add a sewing allowance of 
one inch that's actually the standard we use at Eric's and it works perfectly for us that at 0 0.5 inches so the one from the cup the one from the net the one from the sides you need to really really take your time at this stage to mark out thoroughly else you might just make some mistakes that you may not be able to rectify because corsets require a lot of details and carefulness okay so now this is our completed corset pattern so we're going to go ahead to eliminate the darts so you know we only have to split open the darts to close the side pieces so now we're going to eliminate the darts by cutting off so just go with me gradually please don't forget to practice you don't need to watch this video to the end before you start practicing like 30 minutes every day and you're just good this video is very 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 detailed i remember searching the internet all to no avail to be able to find a pattern that works for me and eventually i was able to take um a lot of quite expensive online courses and also modify them eventually to find a method that i wouldn't have to um, start doing corrections and adjustments over and over again so i basically had to modify the methods to suit me and also enable me to avoid unnecessary mistakes so you can see how i'm cutting off my yoke so once again if you're new to this channel don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that i can see my next videos when it drops so i'm just going to go ahead to cut off the cup shape and you add 0 0.5 inches around this corner when you're done so you cut and you cut so you can see how it looks now we have our side front piece we have our center front piece we have our yoke and we have our cup so we're going to start cutting the cup in pieces but before you do that you have to label the cup separately so you have to put the arrow that is going up i had to label center front side front because most times when you cut out on fabric everything begins to look very confusing so you have to be very careful so if you want to order a copy of my book you can contact us on 070 or you can just click on the link in the description box you can find our contacts there to place an order anywhere in nigeria you can also order on amazon if you're not in nigeria and i'll just put the link to order in the description box so the video the big <laughs> the book has very detailed descriptions on how to make this particular corset that i've explained very well in details and that's it so you find a corset making in chapter 19 of this book with clear cut illustrations and explanations and you also find a lot of other topics like wedding dress making jumpsuits suits and um, shirts as well as other cos other topics so this is our tailor's measuring book that has a space for sketches has a space for you to fill in your client details measurements you can still order it here in nigeria at the moment it's currently 3600 and you can order it from any location you are in nigeria it's over 450 pages so now we'll go over to the back we're not yet totally done we just add our sewing allowance of one inch one inch connect it and after we are done connecting it we'll cut in pieces it's already very self-explanatory looking at the way the pattern is don't forget to like this video don't forget to share don't forget to subscribe if you're watching it on youtube but if you're taking this as an online course hmm, please just practice oh don't share
So this video is brought to you courtesy of Eric's Academy of Fashion, a fashion outfit based in Inugu, southeastern Nigeria. So our contact is also in the description box. So if you're looking for a physical fashion school where you can train and get master quality training, then Eric's Academy of Fashion is just the place for you. See you in the next training video. So for each of the patterns, we're going to cut two two pieces. For your centerpiece pattern, you can choose to cut it on a fold. You can choose to cut it in pieces.